Hello Primary 4, how are you today? I am Sara and teaching science and today we're going to talk about respiratory system. As you know, Primary 4, all living things, human or animals or plant, need food and air to get energy. So we need food or nutrients and we need air or oxygen to get energy. But how to get oxygen or how to get air to get energy to get oxygen or air we need to use our respiratory system to breathe we need to breathe so respiratory system is the system that is responsible for breathing air like spongebob spongebob here breathing air this is how we breathe air primary force so respiratory system it is a system that is responsible for breathing air how about the respiration process primary four respiration process it is the process of entering the air carrying oxygen into the body and this is called inhalation so when you enter the air in your nose or through your nose and through your mouth like this this is called inhalation, like this picture. The boy breathing air, the air enters the nose, also it enters the mouth, so we can breathe through our nose and we can breathe through our mouth. So, inhalation it is the process of entering the air, carrying oxygen to the body through the nose and the mouth. And the second part of the respiration process is pushing out the air, carrying carbon dioxide out of the body and this is called exhalation like this boy in this picture when he push the air through his mouth or nose like this this is called exhalation so exhalation is pushing out of the air carrying carbon dioxide out of the body so respiration process it is the process of entering the air carrying oxygen into the body which is called inhalation and pushing out the air carrying carbon dioxide out of the body which is called exhalation so respiration process is consists of inhalation and exhalation process primary four you should know that we breathe all the time we breathe when we are sitting down when we are walking when we are running also even when we are sleeping, we need to breathe air. So we breathe air all the time, primary four. Those are the organs of the respiratory system, primary four. This is the respiratory system and those are the organs of the respiratory system. Our first organ, all of you know it, which is called the nose. This is called nose and nose is the first organ in the respiratory system. The second organ is called pharynx and we talked before about it in the digestive system. This is called pharynx. This part is called pharynx. And after pharynx, we have trachea. This part, this white ring is called trachea. And after trachea, we have the two lungs. We have the two lungs. And inside the two lungs, we have another structure we will talk about later. And also we have another structure that is called diaphragm under the two lungs or at the base of the two lungs this part is called diaphragm so those are the organs of the respiratory system but how does the respiratory system primary for work how when you breathe in air like this the air enters the nose right the air enters the nose and then the air goes to the pharynx super or the throat and then it goes to the trachea and then it goes to the two lungs this is how we breathe in air so when you breathe the air the air enters the nose and also the mouth we said that we can breathe through our nose or our mouth then the throat then the trachea then the air reaches the two lungs but what happens to the two lungs when the air reaches the two lungs the lungs are filled up with air like balloons as you can see here they are filled up with air like balloons you can see they looks like the two balloons when they are filled up with air this is how we breathe or this is how the respiratory system work so our first organ primary four in the respiratory system is called nose we said that nose is the first organ in the respiratory system and what happens in the nose primary four the air enters the nose to breathe in air 
and the air enters the nose like this in the inhalation process is carrying oxygen super and when you expale the air through your nose like this this is how we get out the air through the nose and this process we said that's called exhalation but we know that we can breathe in air or enter the air through our nose and also our mouth and we can get rid of the air through our nose and also through our mouth so air enters and gets out through the nose also the mouth after nose primary four we have throat or pharynx after nose we have throat or pharynx this part is called throat or pharynx pharynx or throat primary four is a passage between the nose and the trachea so it allows the air to pass from the nose to the trachea and after pharynx or throat we have trachea super trachea is a tube primary four trachea is a tube that allows the air to pass into the two lungs so it takes the air from the pharynx to the two lungs it is a tube that allows the air to pass into the two lungs and when the air enters the two lungs we said that the two lungs looks like the balloons when the air enters the two lungs the lungs fill up with air like balloon super trachea primary four is divided into two another tubes which is called bronchi so trachea is branched or divided into two tubes which is called bronchi when i say it is branched so it looks like the branches of the tree super so trachea is a tube allows the air to pass into the two lungs and when the air enters the two lungs the lungs looks like the balloon super and we said that trachea is branched or divided into two tubes which is called bronchi repeat after me bronchi bronchi super so after trachea we have the bronchi the bronchi as you can see here this is the trachea and those are the division or the branches of the trachea which is called bronchi bronchi allows the air to enter the two lungs the primary four so the bronchi enter the two lungs so the air enter from the bronchi to the two lungs also bronchi are divided into smaller tubes or branched into smaller tube which is called bronchioles bronchioles as you can see here after bronchi we have bronchioles so after bronchi we have bronchioles they looks like the branches of the three primary four as you can see in this picture we have trachea we have bronchi then we have bronchioles so trachea bronchi bronchioles trachea bronchi bronchioles and bronchioles is the smallest one of them but what happens inside the lungs primary four inside the lungs we can find the bronchioles as we said the bronchioles is the branches of the bronchi so bronchioles are found inside the lungs and end up with another structure that is called air sac or alveoli can you see those circles those circles are called air sacs or alveoli repeat after me alveoli 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 so bronchioles end up with alveoli when the air enters and reach the alveoli oxygen is moved to the blood vessels can you see those blood vessels that surrounding the air sacs or the alveoli super so when the air enter or arrives the air sacs of primary four oxygen moves through it to the blood vessels to the blood to the whole body to help the other organs or the other system to do its work so inside the lungs we can find the bronchioles the branches of bronchi super and bronchioles are found inside the lungs and end up with structure that is called air sac or super alveoli and what happened when the air reaches the alveoli oxygen moves to the blood vessels that surrounding the air sacs as you can see here then the oxygen is carried through the blood to the whole body 
to help other organs and system to work. So we have trachea, then we have bronchi super, then we have bronchial super and end with air sac or alveolar. We said that we have another structure in the respiratory system primary four that is important for breathing or important for respiratory system, which is called diaphragm. Diaphragm. So the G letter is silent. So we call it diaphragm. Diaphragm. This part is called diaphragm primary four. As you can see, it looks like muscle super. So diaphragm is a large muscle. Large muscle. Can you see the rib cage? This bone is called ribs or rib cage. You can find the diaphragm at the base or at the end of the ribs primary four. So diaphragm is a large muscle at the base of the ribs, which play important role in breathing air. But what is the function of diaphragm primary four? We said that diaphragm is a muscle. So any muscle contract and relax right super so diaphragm is a muscle that contract during inhalation and relaxes during exhalation what is the meaning of that as you can see when you breathe in air like this the muscle contract the muscle contract so when it contract it goes downward but when you exhale or expel the air through your nose in the exhalation process like this this diaphragm or this muscles relaxes so it goes upward so diaphragm is a muscle that contracts during inhalation and relaxes during exhalation as you can see this is the chest primary force this is called this part is called chest the size of the chest is increasing during the inhalation process when you breathe in air the size of your chest will increase put your hand on your chest and breathe in air start to inhale you will see that the size of your chest will increase but when you exhale or when you expel the air through your nose like this you can find that the size of your chest is decreasing so the size of the chest is increased or increases during inhalation and decreases during exhalation in the inhalation process we said that when you enter the air through your nose in the inhalation process which gas enter your body the oxygen so oxygen enters the body during inhalation and when you expel the air through your nose or through your mouth which gas gets out of your body we said that carbon dioxide so oxygen enters the body during inhalation and carbon dioxide expels during exhalation let's have a comparison between inhalation process and exhalation process as we said that in both we find the diaphragm can you see the diaphragm this is the diaphragm primary four here also this is the diaphragm in the inhalation process the frame is contract or shrinking so it moves downward and when it relaxes or expands in the exhalation process it goes or moves upward so the frame in inhalation process shrink or contracts so it goes downward as the air fills the two lungs like balloons so it takes the space that the diaphragm is found and in exhalation process when the air gets out through your nose so the two lungs are not filling with air so it goes back to its place so the muscles or the diaphragm relaxes or expand to take its place again so it moves upward how about the size of your chest in the inhalation process the size of your chest is enlarged as you can see we have here difference between this picture and this picture in this picture you can see that the size of the chest is bigger in this picture right so the size of the chest in the inhalation process is enlarged or increased and in exhalation process when the air gets out so the size of the chest becomes smaller or narrow or decreased how about the type of air in the lungs in the two process in the inhalation process we said that 
type of air that enter the two lungs is called oxygen so air enter the two lungs is rich in oxygen how about exhalation the air that expelled or gets out through your lungs is rich in carbon dioxide gas how to keep your respiratory system healthy primary for breathing clean air super so when you breathe in clean air you will have a healthy respiratory system what else eating fruits rich in vitamin c like orange and guava orange and guava rich in vitamin c and vitamin c is important to your immune system so when your immunity or your immune system is good and healthy you will have also a healthy respiratory system what else a primary for super avoid smoking and smoking area smoking is bad so how to keep your respiratory system healthy by breathing clean air by eating fruits rich in vitamin c like orange and guava and also avoid smoking and smoking area this was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.